Good morning and welcome back. Um, today is going to be a beautiful day. The weatherman has promised it's going to be about 20 degrees, so I'm out in my summer uniform. My plan of action today is to spend a couple of hours just shooting at the Millennium Bridge on the little Fuji X100. There's something to be said about spending a lot of time at one location, following a bit of Steve McCurry's advice. I'm gonna walk you through any shots I find particularly interesting. I think today's gonna be a good day. So you may be wondering why I want to spend all of my time at this bridge here. Other than it being obviously the best bridge in London. Sorry any Tower Bridge lovers. I really want to try and capture something different. That's something that I've been finding particularly useful at the moment. Spending time thinking about how to create different images that are still compositionally beautiful, that still capture the essence of what the bridge really is. My plan is to hopefully, by spending a longer period of time there, I'm gonna be able to actually capture something different that's good. So I thought that the best place to start was underneath the bridge. A few bread of chili peppers. Bring that out. And the more that's cool. I'm trying to figure out a composition from down here. How to make that an interesting. At the moment, I'm finding it quite hard, I think, because I'm still trying to wake up, but I could be on something here. It always seems to look better than this and when I look through my camera. You can only see it from like this angle. And I've tried running around finding different compositions, but you literally can't. You lose the direction of the light and like, look how cool that is. Like, <laughs> it's so thick. This current scene, go down here, mud larker, digging around. We've also got people crossing the bridge up here, but also you've got this line that comes down and then the shadow comes here. I've decided that I've been staring to the sun for too long. So now we're gonna go up on top of the bridge and then try to start finding competitions that go down, I guess. So something that I'm noticing at the moment, if you look everywhere, there seem to be really interesting shadows just all over the place. So I've now taken to being sat on the floor. I'm trying to use these lines caused by the railings over here. Try and draw the eye towards some pools. And I'm trying to also get a subject on a clear horizon. That way, when the human subject is positioned against clear sky it really draws your eye straight to them and it's a great way to make a photo really feel like there is a subject like there is a purpose rather than it simply just being like a, a nice looking photo Just scooch across the floor. I wouldn't recommend it. The floor is actually really, really quite hard and sharp. Why am I surprised? <laughs> what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to use these rails to draw your eye in, to pull it towards some pools or whatever other subject like comes into frame. I would show you on video, but I don't want to risk losing my phone. So you just have to make do with ugh, just some photos. So now I'm heading over to the north side of the river to get some backlit photos. So the sun is over here and I'm trying to go over here. And I wonder whether people have never really taken or in my experience, I've never really seen any photos from the north side. And I wonder whether that's because either St Paul's is too good of a subject or whether it's just hard to compose because of the paths and where everything leads and the angles that you can get. So I'm gonna try and find that out now. It's curious. It's quite exciting just being like, you can only be here. And so I'm really enjoying just having to sit down and wait at a location. It means that once you find a composition, you can really work it. And I think that I'm gonna do <laughs> plenty more of these. So if you have any ideas of where you'd like me to do next, put a comment below. One thing I've noticed, there's a lot of people here just like enjoying the moment. And I think that that's something that 
photography has really started to teach me is how can you slow down? How can you start noticing how nice things are as they are? Don't need to be doing anything, don't need to be kind of concentrating on anything or like bettering your life. Just like, how can you just be present in the moment? That's, I think, a completely underrated quality of being into street photography and noticing things and being out and about. Something that always fascinates me about this bridge is just how big it is. So that is a task for the next couple of photos. So how can I really get a sense of scale? Now I'm gonna pass you over to hopefully editing James, who's gonna give you a bit more, I don't know, some insight maybe, set myself up, so yeah. What did I learn from this experience? Firstly, is to be more patient when I'm out and about shooting. It's very easy to get a couple of good shots and to be like, I'm done. Whereas I think that this little experiment has showed me that if you start spending time really thinking about the location, why do you like it? What is it that you find interesting? How can you emphasize that? Things just pop out to you. New ideas, new compositions. I think for me to be able to take this kind of experience to new cities, new places where I haven't been before. So instead of getting kind of like awe inspired and taking the really obvious cliche photos, to think about it a bit more. Why do I really like this location? What is it that gets me going? I also think that it's a demonstration that the more time and effort and thought you put into things, the more you get out of it, the more you get those unique different photos. And that's something that I love getting. That really makes me feel good as a creative, knowing that I'm still creating things that <laughs> at least I think look nice, that other people may have perhaps not taken or overlooked. And there's a reason why everyone takes that photo at the end of the Millennium Bridge by the Tate Modern facing St. Paul's because it bangs. And to also never be afraid to take a photo because you just want to take a photo. So I hope that you enjoyed that video. Comment down below where you'd like me to spend another three hours taking cool photos. Obviously everyone's on Instagram. So if you like the kind of photos that I'm producing, if you'd like to follow me over there, you can stay up to date with what I'm doing. And also comment your Instagram handle. I'd love to connect with you and to see other people who enjoy this style of photography to be able to, yeah, chat. And if you're about in London, Let's go shooting. And as always, until next time, peace.